各位观众朋友们，大家好，欢迎收看我们休斯顿论坛。我是杰米马马杰。过去这次礼拜，我每次录节目的时候都忧心忡忡，我们这个压力很大，因为这个学区的问题。所以今天我们非常荣幸的请到了我们的好朋友，我们宋嘉年 Anne Sun 来我们节目。他是我们大休斯顿学区的呃这个理事。Anne, how are you? I'm well, thank you. A lot of our audience are here in North America, and they're also all over the world.、Uh, as Chinese American, you are definitely the first. You have been very inspirational to all of us here in Houston, here in Texas. Could you tell our audience a little bit about your position? Well, you know what? Let's talk about your background. Where are you from, and how did you end up here? Uh, I grew up here in Houston. My parents are from Hong Kong,、uh, and、uh, but they came to the U.S.、Um, in the、uh, early '70s.、Um, I was born in Michigan. They moved to Houston when I was a couple years old, and I've been here ever since.、Uh, your grandfather was from. What was your grandfather? Guangzhou. From Guangzhou. Yeah, my father was a. Was a high school principal actually in Guangdong, China. Oh wow! So, is 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 a family is is generational? I mean, it's it's not easy being an educational.、Uh, I mean, it is. How do I say in Chinese? We say this this generational family. Is your father is is a principal? Then your grandfather is also from Guangzhou. How did your dad、uh, ended up here in、uh, Michigan? Well, education was very important to his family. Obviously, his father was a school principal, and unfortunately, he passed away when my grandfather passed away when my father was young, when he was only five years old.、Um, my grandmother was not educated, so she was illiterate. She worked as a maid in Hong Kong,、um, and worked very, very hard to save money so that my father could go to college, and and so that my father could go to a very good private school in Hong Kong. He was admitted on scholarship to the University of Maine in the U.S.、Um, my grandmother bought him a one-way ticket, so he was able to come to the U.S. and study here. And I mean, th- th- this kind of stories we we hear so much, and and people forget how hard it was as immigrants to come here and then look at where you are now. And this is the epitome of the American dream. 嗯，各位观众，刚才跟我们讲的，其实我之前不知道这个事情。他的爸爸。他的他的爷爷奶奶，他爷爷很早就去世了，在他父亲 a n 父亲五岁的时候，所以 a n 的父亲是由单亲妈妈抚养大的，也是 a n 的奶奶。a n 的奶奶说在做帮佣，呃，省吃俭用的让他的父亲能够去念到大学，在香港，呃，在香港能念私立学校，然后申请到奖学金，能够来到美国，然后也是让 a n 把 a n 抚养长大。a n 本身的学历也是很惊人，因为这个这个 work ethic 这个。这个努力的这个我们我们华人的优良传统，啊、呃，一直展现在 Anne 的身上。Anne 也是我们华人，我们中国人非常呃的楷模。And speaking of a strong educational、um, background and, and work ethic, could you tell us、um, what was your、uh, studying career? How what did you go to school and and how this relate to your current position too? Because it was all local. Yeah. So growing up in Houston,、uh, education was always number one. My parents both, you know, made sure that me and my brother knew that education was the most important thing.、Um, we went to our neighborhood school, Askew Elementary. Then I went to T. H. Rogers, then to Bel Air High School, which is one of the、um, top high schools here in Houston, a public school.、Um, and a lot of people think that you need to go to a private school. You need to spend money in order to go on to a top university. But I was able to study at Harvard. My brother was able to study at Rice University.、Um, I've gone back to Harvard a few times, so I studied physics and math there,、um, and then public policy as well at Harvard.、Um, and I'm, you know, I always, when I came back to Houston and became a teacher, I would tell my students, you know,、um, you can achieve anything if you work hard in school. You know, you can go on to a good college. You can achieve your dreams. I mean, it's, it's amazing. You, you you tell it as if because I'm raising children now. It is so difficult. It is unbelievably difficult. When I met you five years ago, before you ran for office,、uh, I, I had children then, and I just didn't understand what it took. My parents are immigrants. It is it is amazing. It's an amazing story that your father, that your parents, and 
who could do that and that you and your brother achieve all that. See that that's perfectly brought up the um, the Chinese belief that private education, private school, you know, is better. Give or take, it, it applies to each child differently. But you're a perfect proof that our public school system does work. And the fact is, Belair is a public school. Belair is one of the top schools academic, academically in the state of Texas. And we have many, many outstanding alumni of Chinese American descent from Belair High School. Song Jialian, he is in his own, he is now choosing, he is now choosing as a teacher, as a principal, trustee. He is himself a teacher. He is a public school teacher. He is a public school teacher. He is a public school teacher. 高中更是休斯顿著名的公立学校，伯雷还是我们华裔的子弟，呃，都是很多都是优秀的校友。And 他成长的环境，嗯，怎么说？就是我们我们移民看在美国竞选这种、呃、重要的职位，我们总觉得要么就是老美，呃，在地的世世代代的老美，或是白人，或者是说你这个家世很好，或是你有背景，或是有金元。但是 And 是非常好的这个呃这个 example， 为什么？他他是个非常普通的平民，家里就是从小就要要好好的学习。他跟他弟弟两个都是名校毕业，哈佛跟 Rice 大学。然后 Anne 还回去母校再修读了一个硕士，呃，是之后 Anne 毕业之后，他从哈佛他可以进到公立或私立的这个机构，可以拿到很高的薪水。但是他想要回馈给社会，所以他能够回到我们德州，然后去教高中做高中老师。You know, Anne, I want to say. For a lot of immigrant parents, you would be considered a rebellious daughter because yes, you did go to Harvard, and instead of taking a high salary job like what our parents want us to do, you wanted to give back. I remember talking to you five years ago because what you saw growing up, and you you went to and became a high school teacher, which I would imagine I think is the hardest job in America is being a teacher, especially at, at right now. What did your parents say to you when you told them you're going to be a teacher? Oh, it is hard right now, especially、um, when I decided to become a teacher.、Um, I did a program called Teach for America,、um, and it was a pretty prestigious, con competitive program where、um, teachers,、uh, often from top tier universities, go to teach in schools where they're really needed. And I think my parents thought at the time, because it was a two year commitment, that I would do it temporarily, you know, and then go back and become a physicist. But I fell in love with education, and I brought my parents to come speak to my students、um, about their work. And my parents saw how much I loved、um, my students and how much I loved inspiring them to, you know, go on to careers. As, as some some students of mine became scientists, some students of mine became teachers,、um, and so my parents have been supportive. It took them a while to get used to the idea, but they were supportive of my working in education and now working in public service. That is amazing. So Anne 的父母在他这个硕士毕业之后 ，Anne 呃竞选，然后被选中一个在美国的非盈非盈利的一个机构，就是让你让这个名校的呃毕业生能够到这种最需要老师的学区，就是呃比较贫穷、比较落后一点的学区，去帮助最需要帮助的学生。Anne 被选中之后，这他的父母以为这只是两年的 program 嘛，只有两年，所以让他去。就让他让他去玩这两年，或者至少去看看看一看，自己不是喜欢。之后呢 ，Anne 就会回去做他的科学家，做他的研究员。就我没想到 ，Anne 这两年之后 ，Anne 深深爱上了这个这个这个传传递这个给下一代这个好的学习的方式。就 Anne 把自己的父母带到他的学校，跟自己的学生沟通，让 Anne 的父母也感动，知道这是多么重要、多么神圣的一个职务。呃 ，You know I. I, I'm I'm very、um, emotional in a way when I hear this kind of story, because it's very selfless and and it is a passion. You have to have passion to be a teacher, and and that also translates to how you end up running for office. Because without being there at the ground level, I mean, you are are you the only trustee right now on the board that have this kind of background? I'm not. We have several trustees who are、uh, former teachers. I think when I ran, I was one of the only five years ago. That's right. Yeah. And five years ago, he's the only one who has a teacher background. You know, this is rare in the United States. Because because you you usually as a teacher, you don't have time, 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 and the energy to have this kind of passion to want to be every day. But Anne, from where she sees it, she wants to change the school. She wants to start from the bottom. 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 
as HISD's Teacher of the Year, I think, um, before you ran, probably 2011, 2012? Yeah, 2011, I was teaching right. at Wisdom High School, um, which is a school that serves many immigrants from all over the world. And so, you know, I really saw in, in my students, you know, my own family story. It was a very special place to work. And I was teacher of the year, not for all of HISD, but for Wisdom High School, I was selected teacher of the year that That's year. That's amazing. Being teacher of the year is so hard. And you were, you were really first out of grad school. And I mean, you, you, you had to give a lot to get there. Uh, but from there, how did it go from being um, a high school teacher and, and teacher of the year, one of the best of the best, what did you see as a teacher that made you realize that you, to make change, to really give back and to let these future generations have a chance, you needed to run for trustees so that you can make changes? What made you decide that? Well, when I was at Wisdom High School, I think I saw some of the best of Houston ISD where um, we had really strong, dedicated teachers who wanted to challenge our students. You know, we didn't say, oh, our students are recent immigrants. You know, they can only go so far. You know, high school's good enough, you know, if they can just graduate. You know, we um, taught students even at the college level. So there are AP exams that students can take that will allow them to earn college credits. And um, we challenged our students who had only been in the country for a couple of years to go ahead and take these AP exams. And we had students passing them, going on to top tier universities. We had a student go to Harvard, my alma mater, um, which is really exciting. From Winston High School? Um, from, from Wisdom High School, yes, yeah. So when I was there for, for a while, we had more students passing AP exams at Wisdom than were passing AP exams at Lamar High School, which is another school I now represent in District 7 um, in River Oaks. So, you know, my experience teaching showed me that you know, when you have the right educational supports and challenge, students from anywhere can achieve at a high level. Um, but I also saw if you have bad policy, um, then, you know, education can either be very enriching or education can be very dry and it can become something that turns students away from school. And so um, learning about an elected school board. I don't think I knew when I was a student that there was a school board, but I learned um, as a teacher in the district, I said, who's making these policies that affect my school and my children? And I learned about the school board, um, started to get involved in advocacy, and then eventually was recruited to run. Wow, that is amazing. Um, let, let me tell our audience why. You can end the Xinli Lucheng. 他从一个最佳的老师在高中能够走到今天因为他一步一个脚印看到他的成绩他那时候他经过他回到这个修士学区之后他的学校服务的学校是非常多的移民当我们说的移民不是这种比如说我们亚洲来的欧洲来的移民
不是说不好学校，就比较低收入的学校 （low income area） 的学校是放在一起比较的。能够从这里培养出来念大学的孩子有多么的难，老师有多么的重要，所以 a i 才够启发他自己，知道说很多决策不是他光是他一个以老师一人之力能够做到的。他慢慢的看到哦，因为我们我们移民或是我们做学生，我们根本不知道有这个。Board of Trustee， 对不对？有这个理事会，学区的理事会，我们根本不知道他们的作用在哪里。但是理事会有多么重要？因为所有学区的这个 policy， 他们制定的这个对未来的规划，跟这个呃资金怎么动用，都是由这个理事来决定的。学学老师跟校长只是在执行这个理事所制定下来的，所以他也觉得这有多么的重要。所以哎，那时候才发现说，要真的要改变，那他得他得去。去竞选，然后所以 a n 才这个放弃了他原来非常非常非常的人生的规划，毅然的去回馈更多给我们的学生，给我们的未来。So you at that time you you decided to um to make the most change to really give back is to give up a lot. I mean, running for office in America it is not easy, especially in the district.、Uh, I was telling our audience that HISD is the largest in Texas, seventh largest. In the United States, and what is our current budget now? The HIC budget is over two billion dollars. Excuse me. The over two billion dollars. Yeah, we、oh、educate almost two hundred thousand students. We have almost twenty six thousand employees. It's a big business. <laughs> and we are so small. The school district budget for a year is one year's salary. 二十亿美金，有二十万学生跟两万六千个员工，包括老师，这是一个非常责任重大，这是一个很庞大的企业，一个一个集团。但是这个集团要怎么样去运用，最上面的领导决策人非常的重要。And now we know the numbers, and now we know the importance of the school district, because a lot of our audience may not know how it works, because in some Asian countries. Uh, the school district is not independently operated, you know, because your funds came from taxation from from residences in the district. We, this this school district's this revenue is from this this school district's own taxes. It's not just like say in other countries, maybe that particular school district's own taxes. It's not just like say in other countries, maybe that particular federal government decides or 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 the city decides. It doesn't work like that here in the United States. No, no, no. Here it's uh, um, it's. It's local property tax. Local property tax. Okay. So, you have 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 local property tax. Okay. So, you Presidential election 一起的话，通常这个投票人数会比较高 ，turnout 的 rate 很高。但是因为今年不是 presidential election， 所以我们历来的这个历记录都是很低。问题是在这里，哎，过去四年做得很好 ，OK， 这是大家公认的，大家可以知道公认做得很好。问题在这里，做得多好，但是在美国是是竞选是一个也是一个问题。为什么？因为你如果出去投票的人数少。那艾尼还是会落选，为什么？因为他做的再好，还是有别的候选人出来要跟他竞争。他的候选人是白人，而且是一个家族是非常富有的白人，他所投入的资金，怎么说呢？就这，这是跟 David 跟 Goliath 对我来说，就是这个代表这个传统的这种权势派对付我们现在是我们自己华人子弟，也是我们一个老师。那我现在希望是各位，我我会把我们 Anne 的这个竞选。呃，总部的网站也放在这个我们，我会放在这个 screen 上面。然后我们在我们留言区，我会把这个连接放在上面。各位朋友，你们支持我们我们的节目已经很久了。我现在我居民妈妈，现在恳求大家，我帮 a n 竞选过五年前，我看了他一个非常诚恳、很务实、一步一个脚印走出来的老师，我非常请我在这里请求大家能尽量能够帮他捐款。记记住，你一定要是有美国的住址。你可以寄支票给他的竞选总部，或者是直接到他网站上用那个 link 去 donate， 是用 PayPal。但是他会，他会会只会问一个问题，就是你的职业，然后要你的地址，地址一定要是美国北美地区美国境内的地址。如果你想帮助 Anne 帮我们宋家年，我们我们广州我们香港的呃子弟，你能够经过在美国的
，你的亲戚、你的朋友如果在美国有住址，可以经过他来捐款。但是我们要帮助他，因为不是不是专业的政治人物或竞选，他是一个老师，他是一个他是一个真的是非常非常好的人，我们一定要帮他。那观众，我们我们下一集我们再来讨论一下。呃，关于这个学区跟我们，尤其现在这个口罩之乱，我们来问问 a n n a n n 是最好的这个专家来问，因为过去我这几个礼拜的这个焦虑，我们都可以由 a n n 来解答。好，我们我们下个礼拜再见，谢谢各位。